What's up YouTube, what's up Raider Nation? It's your boy Mr. Raider Kid here and I'm finally bringing you a video man. I'm back, I'm back. I'm sorry, it's been a minute man. You know, things have been really dead lately. The Raiders players are in and out of mini camps, doing a lot of training. Training camp doesn't start for another two weeks. Uh, no stadium talks, nothing new to update you on. A few articles here and there, but you know how articles go. I think it just keeps the people wanting to read and uh, just a lot of speculation. Nothing accurate, nothing set in stone yet. Uh, so, I got some things to talk about today, but first off, let's start with the sad and terrible news of the passing of the Raider great, the legend, probably the best quarterback in Raiders franchise history, and that is Ken Stabler. Uh, for those who don't know Ken Stabler, you should definitely go research him. Um, I learned of Ken Stabler at a very young age while growing up. Uh, watching a lot of Raider documentaries, uh, autobiography of the franchise type of things, and uh, quickly connected to Ken Stabler on the way he threw the ball. And he, him and John Madden reminded me of a modern day Kobe and Phil Jackson. Um, great minds always think alike, they could say. So they would always be calling each other's plays or calling a play. And uh, I heard a lot of stories about how Madden would uh, call a timeout to see what Kenny called and said, oh, that's that's good, and let him go back out there and execute. So uh, rest in peace to Kenny the Snake Stabler, man. Uh, it's really sad to hear that he's gone at such a young age of 69. It's really sad. Um, great or great, man. Uh, a lot of people talking about why he isn't in the Hall of Fame. Heard some good arguments about uh, we look too much of modern-day retirees who just get first dibs. My argument, and which is probably not the best, he was a Raider. He was a true Raider. He was an outlaw Raider. NFL still, I feel, maybe not as much now, but back then especially when Al Davis was still around, hated the Raiders. Um, you know, could very play in a big part of why he's not in the Hall of Fame. I mean, Tim Brown just got in the Hall of Fame after years of fighting, so... Hopefully down the line we could see Ken Stabler into the Hall of Fame. He very much deserves it, man. All right, so let's get down to some business I got to talk to you about. This Wednesday, July 15th, is the ESPYs. But not only that, it is probably the last Raider Nation blackout taking place. Now, a few months ago, uh, after the whole um, news about the NFL team to L.A., uh, two guys that I know specifically, uh, Ty, my boy Tyrone and Johnny Ace, both put together a, a rally to start off to get Raider fans noticed down in L.A. Show that we support, not only we, we will support the Raiders in L.A., but we want to keep them in California and not let them go anywhere else, especially if Oakland cannot get a stadium done. That was the main purpose. Uh, so one one rally turned into two, turned into three. Now we're coming up on our fourth one, and it's been great, man. I feel like a lot of these people now, we're just a family. Uh, I've, I'm so grateful to be a part of the experience, to, to meet up and meet a lot of you people that I have met, uh, people that recognize me. That's so cool. Um, but like I said, man, I feel like it's a family now, and I can't wait. Coming up on this season, uh, we could probably take a trip to San Diego, black it out down there, all as a group. And uh, I, uh, I can't wait to see more and more things happen and see what the Raiders' future lies. But we are here to support. And this Wednesday, I know it is the ESPYs. I know a lot of people might bag on that, uh, especially some people up north not taking any shots. You know, just it's going to happen. You know, you can't pee perfect. You, anything you do, there's always going to be some Debbie Downer that's going to downplay you. But, yes, it is going to take place while the ESPYs is going on. The whole me, my purpose, my goal is to get our faces shown, to get recognized, to get the Raider fans on to telecast, whether they diss us whether they pl applaud us whatever it is let's get be known you know i've seen pointless pointless articles saying that the raiders fan base is the worst that is wrong that's negative let's show them that we're not the worst we're going to go out there peacefully just scream raiders for no effing reason and enjoy ourselves so if you're in the area san gabriel valley pomona um san fernando valley wherever you stay at los angeles a little down south towards the beach areas orange county if you're a raider fan come out this wednesday it's going to be from like three o'clock to about seven o'clock people we're just going to hang out in the streets just do nothing pretty much uh but maybe see some stars because the espies will be taking place so make out to that 
but also this Saturday, the biggest event, and it will be my first time going. Um, I wanted to go last year, did not, wasn't able to go. Um, some things held me back, and then years before that, uh, I just wasn't aware of it ex at all, really. But this year is probably going to be the biggest year. It is the seventh annual Raider Nation bonfire with a special guest. It's going to be taking place in Huntington Beach by Tower 17 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. I could double check. But yes, it will be going on. There are people be in line. People from up north in Oakland, Raider fans are coming down. A bunch of booster clubs. Get ready. If you're a Raider fan, you should be at this event. The special guest will be Tim Brown. Timmy Brown will be attending, signing autographs. There will be a plenty of merchandise you can buy from Black Sunday to um, individual sellers that will be selling Raider Nation uh, Bonfire t-shirts. This is going to be an all-day event from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. We are taking over Pacific Coast Highway in Huntington Beach. Be out there in Bolsa Chica State Beach. Show some support. I mean, if you're a Raider fan, you should be there, no doubt. Whether you work, come after work. I just got the day off, thank God. So I will be there as early as I can. Um, I know there will be a lot of people waiting in line. So you got to get there early. Try your best to find parking. But even if you have to, man, just come roam around. It's all going to be a big family event. So you can chill with whoever you recognize. You don't have to have a setup, really, or to barbecue. Uh, that's my point of, of all of this. I can't wait. This is going to be the biggest event. Um, there's about close to 5,000 people possibly going. This is crazy. I see a lot of teams already trying to mimic us. Um, this event has been going on for seven years now. This will be the seventh year. Uh, I see other fans putting together their own little, like, I don't know what you'd call it, get-togethers out of nowhere, which is all right. I guess, I guess we sparked the idea. Uh, but don't get it twisted. Who did it first and who did it best? That's all I got to say. Raider Nation did it best. The best nation, the only nation. Don't get it twisted. But yeah, guys. Um, sorry, I'm ranting and raving now. Uh, I know they do rallies in the valleys as well. That's been going on strong. But this one might be the biggest Raider Nation get-together yet. Um, by the numbers, it could possibly climb. And I can't wait. I'm so excited to see a lot of you. If you guys are going, leave a comment. Uh, down below let me know I'd love to meet all of you guys maybe take some pictures I know a lot of Raider youtubers are heading out hopefully we can, all of them make it out oh Dylan Raider J um, Michael uh, the real Raider Ray uh, Samoan Raider uh, Knight of the Shield I hope to see all of you guys Raider Central uh, everybody I hope to see everybody I don't want to forget names I forgot a name not the personal it's just so many names. I don't want to say somebody's name and, like, not get anything. Uh, but also, Raiders underscore 1995, I know you have been going through some tough times. Um, I don't know the exact situation, but I have a feeling it still has to do with something with your girlfriend. Uh, but I want to say that my prayers are with you and your family and your girlfriend's family. I hope all is well. Um, I'm rooting in all of your guys' favor. So uh, I'll keep you guys in my prayers. I hope everything turns out okay in your situation. And with that being said, Wednesday, July 15th, 3 o'clock, downtown L.A., Staples Center, Raider Nation Blackout 4. We will be in full effect. Saturday, July 18th, the 7th Annual Raider Nation Bonfire, Bolsa Chica State, Tower 16, 17, something like that. All-day event. You can't miss it. You'll see the flags everywhere, guys. That's my time. Leave a comments below um, if you guys are going to attend. Um, what you guys want me to talk about later on in the future anything check out my new channel with my boy Alex does it we don't just talk about football on that channel we talk about baseball basketball hockey all the major sports we've been talking about the Lakers lately we're uh, we're surrounded by LA but you know we touch on everything we'll talk about anything all the big stuff breaking news shit that's going down so go subscribe to that channel I think we're going to be doing a giveaway very, very soon, so stay tuned to that. We should have a video coming up this week, but that's it. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. Catch me at Bolsa Chica. Catch, catch me in downtown LA. I'm stuttering. I need to go drink some water. I'm out, guys. Peace.